Well, Tom, Dassey's new attorneys are from Northwestern University's Center on Wrongful Conviction. Today, they questioned one of Dassey's former attorneys, asking him about comments he made about Dassey's innocence or guilt, comments he made to the media before Dassey's trial. You haven't ruled out a plea deal. Oh, sure, yes, I said that. Brendan Dassey's new defense attorneys questioned his former attorney, Len Kaczynski, about statements he made to the media regarding Dassey's possible guilt when he first took on Dassey's case. They asked about statements he made publicly before he personally talked to his client. Uh, you didn't have any problem talking about the possibility of a conviction at this point? No, I didn't think it was. I thought this was pretty much stating the obvious. Okay. Earlier in the day, Dassey's attorney questioned the prosecutor in the case, asking him about Kaczynski's actions. It, it is our position that Mr. Kaczynski breached his duty of loyalty to Brendan Dassey. It is also our position that Mr. Kratz may have been aware of those breaches and may have, in fact, facilitated some of those breaches and clearly benefited from some of those breaches. Dassey's attorney also asked the prosecutor about Dassey being interviewed by police without Kaczynski there. In your experience as a prosecutor, have you ever had a situation where a defense attorney has presented a 16-year-old client for an interview with investigators when he was not present? Um, clients that are suspects involved in either criminal or uh, delinquency matters, uh, no. Now, Dassey's attorneys are the ones requesting the new trial, so they get to make their case to the judge first. This hearing continues next week. That's when the prosecution will get its turn to call its witnesses and make its case to the judge that Dassey's conviction should stand. Reporting live in Manitowoc, Becky DeVry.